Welcome back to Hood Rich Racing. Today we're going to go over how to delete that little barb fitting that goes uh, on the water neck where the upper radar hose goes to. And it just looks a lot cleaner. So we'll show you guys how to do that. I'm going to say hi. Oh, come on. But first, I want to apologize for the lack of audio. Or not the lack of audio, but it was like the intro was like blaring, you know, and blowing your speakers out. And then when it comes to the actual video, you weren't able to hear anything. So we'll make sure that does not happen again. All right. So the piece that we are talking about today is the upper water neck where your upper radiator hose goes. And I think it's similar in a lot of B-series, maybe some D-series stuff. So basically, it's going to start off with removing the two 10 millimeter bolts that hold this on. And uh, when you put it back on, it's pretty important to remove all the old gasket material, the gasket maker. There is no gasket that goes through, so you'll just have to use like some kind of Honda bond or some really good, you know, sealant for it. So let's get into the process to uh, put in this little plug right here instead of the metal 90 that goes on here. Right, so once you have it removed, you want to obviously, what I ended up doing was actually removing the fitting with vice grips. There's kind of, I just broke it off. It'd be better to cut it as close as you can to the base of it. And you have to drill out the remainder. So here's uh, what we're kind of dealing with here. So take the, like I said, take that fitting off, the one that goes right here for the coolant line. Uh, it is, it's not fun to get off it, you know, it's kind of pain in the ass actually, but once you got it off, it's pretty smooth sailing. So what I ended up doing is we started out with just a regular quarter inch bit. Uh, let's see if I can kind of get that for you guys. Where's my lens? So this is just a DeWalt quarter inch, there you go, quarter inch bit. And obviously just drill it out and, uh, it is super important to go straight. You don't want to go crooked. Just go and uh, you know, go in so far. You don't want to go ape shit on it. And once you do that, I stepped it up to a five sixteen. So it's just like some, I think it's like some kind of carbide blade or something, or carbide bit. Uh, it doesn't have to be anything special. But this one is a, a five sixteenths, and we just went back in and drilled it out. And what this bit did is actually removed the sleeve with it. This is even more important guys to go go soft on well this is just the the sleeve that fits in here for the fitting it was pressed in uh 20 something years ago so it's it's in there good so and this is actually the base of the fitting so you guys are done with that clean it keep the keep keep the metal shavings to the minimum it, it's important to be clean neat keep your tools all organized know where you play stuff uh, but once you do that, all you got to do is thread it out. This is the thread, or the tap that I use. It is a eighth inch by 27 NPT. You are going to go ahead and thread super straight. So you want to go in a little bit. You want to go in slow. Twist it back out. Clean it. Spray some WD-40 or something that will have the metal shaving stick to the, the tap. Then clean it off. Spray some more in there. Keep it all oiled up so it cuts nice and smooth. Cut straight. And uh, you don't want to go all the way down. You want a little bit of aluminum in there for the tap to bottom out. So you're not, you know, going all the way into the, the water neck. And you can make it nice and flush. You know, go in just about, you know, when you thread or when you drill. Maybe go in just about the, the depth of this. Maybe a little, little lower. And if you look at this, actually tapered, so it will allow it gets get smaller in the bottom, so it will allow this to kind of compress in there, nice and tight, so it won't leak. Uh, what we're going to be doing is still using some kind of uh, like a thread sealing, you know, paste or something. Maybe you can probably use like the Teflon tape stuff, but I just like to use the actual paste. It goes in, you know, smoother and doesn't get all tangled up and stuff. So. This will thread, you know, nice and smooth. Make sure to test it out. And this is a... Which size Allen are we messing with here? This is the 3 16 inch Allen key. So that will just twist in. Alright, so before you put that fitting in, 
make sure everything's clean no metal shavings make sure your threads are pretty much perfect so you don't have any you know stripping or any kind of rough time putting that plug in and we will be using like i said we're using a this is a permatex thread seal and it just allows you know a little better seal so basically just take maybe dab a little bit on your finger you don't need a whole lot for this little tiny plug even that's actually too much so we'll just kind of clean some of that off and just kind of roll this in there a little bit snug it in there make it as flush as possible you don't want to strip it it's just a tiny little plug and once you got that nice and flush nice and where you want it wipe off any excess there's the finished product not too bad all right guys there you have it this looks a lot better looks cleaner than the 90 that was on there that we are, we will not be using because we are running a uh, scut 2 pro series it's one of those billet throttle bodies that does not have any kind of uh, coolant fittings or any kind of coolant reference on the bottom of it and i believe one of them ran to this or just ran to that other control valve or something we won't be running any coolant lines to the throttle body or the iacv uh, kind of keep any kind of warm coolant away from the intake as much as possible aside from going aftermarket this is the way i would go so you know we do have to run to the store and uh, grab a couple new 10 millimeters that go in there i have some but they're mismatched and it kind of bothers me and it's one of those things guys like if it should bother bother you two guys take pride and attention to detail make your stuff look clean make it look good make it function reduce the problems you have so you can just enjoy the car without having leaks like from this all right what is up we're back god i gotta take a piss there to my into the garage all right now we're back god every single time come out in the garage i have to hose the porcelain all right tmi so we are back uh, we're gonna reinstall this, um, this cool piece. Got the new, new one bolt. Got two of them. One, one fell off, I guess. So let's get some, I guess, sealing on this and um, call it good. And another one's right there. <laughs> All right, so we went ahead and scraped as much as we can off this. Got most of it off. A lot of the stuff won't really come off unless you like sand it or something, or I don't freaking know. But we were able to get this side pretty clean looks pretty bare got you know got anything that fell in here make sure you guys get it all out you don't want it i mean not gonna kill anything but just be neat be clean all right there we go got some of this gray stuff This is the final product. Got the tens all tightened down. You don't need a hulk on them. They're just tens. Uh, just snug them and then do a little cord turn. The other bolts I had to get are the slave cylinder bolts, brand new bolts for those. Don't know the torque spec, so I just torqued it about 16 or 17 foot pounds. And uh, we got the wire harness all up in there neat now that's all finished and uh that looks a lot better thank you guys for watching and if this video was helpful go ahead and smash the thumbs up button comment and subscribe hopefully you destroy your water neck in the process and next time we'll be doing a am 340 fuel pump install and a couple other cool things and if you guys want to watch this car get going and running stay tuned and see you guys next video later